Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech. In this video, I am going to show you how you can flash a stable ROM onto your Redmi Note 4G. For that, you need to come to this particular website. I'll leave a link to this website in the description area below the video. So once you come over here, make sure that the phone is Redmi Note and you select Redmi Note 4G Global over here. If you are from India and if you want to flash the stable ROM for Redmi Note 4G, then you need to download Redmi Note 4G Global. And if you want to flash a stable ROM for Redmi Note, for the Indian version that is the only 3G version, then you need to download this ROM. For the demonstration, I'm going to install the stable ROM on Redmi Note 4G. As we don't have a stable ROM specifically for India, we are going to install Redmi Note 4G global version. Now you need to download this ROM from this site. And once you finish the downloading, copy that file to the internal storage of your phone. So I have already downloaded it and moved to the phone. So let me show you what to do next on the phone. So guys, I have already copied the stock ROM into the internal SD card and I have powered it off. So let's go into the custom recovery. So to enter the custom recovery, you need to press power button and volume up button at the same time until you see this logo. So once you see the MI logo, just put it aside and wait until it boots into the custom recovery. So this is the custom recovery. I have already made a video on how to install the custom recovery. So I'll leave a link to that video in the description area. So please look at that and install the custom recovery. Next, going on ahead, before you install any ROM, there are two things that you must definitely do. One is wipe the cache and second is the factory reset. So for that, let's go into wipe and format options and then select wipe cache and press yes. And once it is done, it will ask you to press any key to continue. And now click on factory reset and say yes. All your user data will be gone. Now it will ask you to press any key to continue. Just click on the screen and now go back. Now select the second option that is install zip. Now in these options, select the first option that is choose zip from SD card. Now scroll down. So go to the location where you have copied the stock ROM. I have copied it to the downloads folder. So this is the file. MIUI H3 LTE Global. Just click on that and say yes install. So guys, now the installation is complete. Now you can press anywhere on the screen to continue. Now go back and now select reboot system now. So when you are trying to reboot your device, you may get this message which means the, the stock ROM is trying to flash the stock recovery. Just say yes and continue and then again it will say that the device will be unrooted and again say yes. So you don't need to worry about that. At any point of time you want to go back and root your device or install the custom recovery, you can simply do that by flashing some files. I have already made a videos for that too, so you can look at them if you want. So guys, now the device is on. Let's select English United States and press next. Now just Let's try to quickly configure it. So I'm skipping all these steps. So guys, this is the stock ROM. Now let's go to the settings and check out the version of MIUI and the Android version. So the currently available stable Android version is 4.4.2 and this is the MIUI version. So that's it guys, thanks for watching the video. If you have any doubts then please let me know by commenting below this video. If you found this video to be helpful then please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this.